Blink. 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 Come on, blink. God, blink. We're out here at Tsukiji Fish Market. It's Keep Rugby Clean weekend, and we have a super, 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 super Saturday install for you. I don't know if you've noticed, but three massive matches. Australia will play Uruguay, England will then play Argentina, and we finish the day off with Japan, Samoa. We checked in with the Argentine players to get a feel for how well they know the opposition in an important game of who's younger than youngs. Welcome to Younger Than Youngs. Joe Lunchbury, younger. Courtney Loss, older. Joe Marler, um, younger. Owen Farrell, younger. Willie Haynes, older. Manu Tulagi, younger. I found some exceptional coffee here in Japan to go with my winning smile because the Springboks won last night. In case you missed it, Hamey Rugby, thank you so much for posting a brilliant video. Fans celebrating rugby in the most Japanese way they can think of by taking off their shoes. Loving all of the videos out of South Africa. Um, Abuti Jabu, thank you for posting this. These kids watching the match, really feeling the vibe. This was probably my favorite thing of the day, and the Skulk Brits posting a photo with some Japanese fans wearing t shirts with Quaha Smith's face on it. Mosley Ezra asks, Why are all those guys wearing Lionel Messi t shirts? And some fan fun in the stands. Mount Fuji also pitched up for the match saying tackle me and then a guy in a Springbok jersey obliged. Although, is the rugby guy South African? Because I've stalked him and it looks like he's just wearing everyone's jersey, which is very Japanese of you. Just checking, but we'll adopt you, it's fine. This is so cool. So, La Previa Rugby shared a video of fans just absolutely going nuts. Argentine fans here in Tokyo. And then the Los Pumas team came out and also jumped around and just sang and celebrated with them. So rad, so much excitement. I can really feel it. There's loads of England and Argentina supporters in town. Gordon Reed raiding Stuart McNally's hotel room. <gasps> Sorry. Sorry. Could I get a napkin? So Gordon Reed raiding Stuart McNally, the Scotland captain's hotel room, is the travel show we never knew we needed. I think it's in the shows around me. But everybody's got single beds. He found no out that his way. beloved captain has a great big double bed all to his lonesome self. I've got, I've got a view of a brick wall. At NZ, James Sherman. Beat Japan and you will get your own room. Deal? This is just a Canterbury store. Just loads and loads of fans. On a Saturday morning, standing in a queue for some Brave Blossoms jerseys. And even doggos. Look at the doggy wog in his little Brave Blossoms jersey. Are these two of them? Oh my gosh. Next up on Rugby World Cup Daily, we ask George Gregan which of the team mascots are vegan. I feel like I should buy George some of this for what we did to him with this next quiz. Is it vegan with George Gregan? One, two, three, four, five, happy there. Is that what you want it? What's England? Are they the rose or are they a lion? Red roses. Red roses. Yeah, I think I got this. You think so? I think so. I could be wrong. Well, hey, I'm George Gregan. I'm 
farting on the carrot. Yay! Bears. Not vegan. The Lelos, okay. Russia are the bears. So, not vegan. Cherry blossoms, not vegan. No, no they're vegan, sorry. Vegan, my mistake. Vegan. Why did I say not vegan? Spring box, not vegan. Pumas, not vegan. You got your, your lucky... Oh, it's a clover. Irish. It's not vegan, but it's it's the three. It's vegan. It is vegan. I keep saying not vegan, but it is vegan. USA are the eagles, and that is not vegan. The rose, and not vegan. Ah, vegan. 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 Not sure, but I think it'll be definitely not vegan. It'll be an animal. The velt bitches. I learnt that Namibia have a plant as their mascot and they are vegan. Everywhere I look and read in rugby, it's like, oh, marrow this, marrow that, Mr. Perfect. I want to get to the bottom of this guy. There's some dirt on this guy. Try to open the door for you. Thank you for welcoming us into your home. I'm going to be completely honest, I saw that and thought that's a six month old girl. It's your turn to dish some dirt. You say you say mum, mum, mum. Florence says you said mummy, mummy, no, mummy. No, no. Which I, one, I mate? Call mummy. Perfect. <laughs> Are you taking responsibility for this success? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> big dog riding up front. We used to be big uh, like WWE fans. And we, we, we always did like, you know, they give you that disclaimer, don't try this at home. We, yeah. we tried it at you home. You tried it at home. Marrow. <laughs> Quite a temper. <laughs> out of control. <laughs> Terrible kid. So we're going to meet one of your friends. And another one kissing a trophy. Have you ever gone to watch him play? <laughs> So your brother's in that, Jeremy's in that. There's your mum, there's Isabel, your sister. Yeah. Was your dad out there for that one? Yeah, you can actually, you can just see his teeth smiling. Oh, there he is. <laughs> uh, right, guys, hopefully it's a three course meal because I haven't eaten for 40 minutes now. Check this out. So that's Rugby World Cup daily for you. Um, don't miss Australia, Uruguay. Arigato gozaimasu. England, Argentina, Japan, Samoa. Almost as nice as three rugby matches in one day. Mm. Oh. Oops.